Hey there boys and girls, Lucky like Flaky here and welcome back to another CSGO video. So today I want to give you guys some more tips in order to improve your spray control in CS. So as we all know, in Counter-Strike having the ability or being able to control your spray and reverse the spray pattern is an essential skill that you have to need to master. Especially in CSGO where like most of the gunfights are actually spray related, so it's not bursting, it's not tapping or what else and whatnot, but spraying. So we'll actually see most people just like spray at each other, so knowing the spray pattern and being able to control it or reverse it is an essential and again uh, needed skill that you have to master. So today I'll give you guys one kind of big tip in order to learn it. Uh, probably most of you guys just went straight ahead to your favorite pro player's config and just like copied that and even though that's kind of a good way to start out to have like a a base that you can config, it's, it's really necessary that you actually do configure it more for yourself because everyone's different so are you and that's where my first big tip comes in most like skilled pro players they use most of the time again a static crosshair a static crosshair is really good if you already know how to spray however you can see me using a expanding crosshair so the crosshair i'm using right here is the one that only expands when you're shooting not when you're walking but only when you're shooting and especially specifically for spray control this can really help you a lot because when as soon as the, the the crosshair expands it will rise up and you basically have to the upper dot or upper line of the crosshair to be able to kind of pinpoint where the bullets are still going so you basically start firing out with a normal crosshair and as the spray is taking your bullets up you will just use the the first like upper part of the, the crosshair in order to aim and like that you will subconsciously then again learn the spray pattern and get better with it uh, since I've switched to this crosshair a couple of like days or even like two weeks now I think ago uh, I, I think that my spray improved quite a bit because I also said previously the smaller your crosshair the better you are at just pinpointing tapping and just like getting those those uh, quick one tap headshots however the bigger your crosshair is the easier it is for you to spray it's kind of a mental thing so when you're having a crosser that's kind of small like the one I'm using right now but the one that is expanding as soon as you're firing you kind of get the best of both worlds again if you're really into the beginner stuff and you haven't like mastered the movement yet go to uh, watch the other videos first and check them out or even use a complete dynamic crosser to always know if you're like accurate or not however if you're already good with movement and you already know when you're accurate and when you're not uh, it's basically just about learning the spray control and uh, the basically uh, the the recovery time of the, the spray and then it's, and, and the expanding crosshair is really helpful with that because as you can see um, it helped me a lot with spraying every time I'm basically starting out firing at the head and I'm just trying to keep the top of the crosshair at head height and by that of course the bu upper bullets like the first 10 or 15 bullets are just going up so I'm really able to just as you saw right there to control the recoil and readjust uh, the spray or the aim and this is the most important tip I can give you guys if you're starting out with spray control because most people will just like tell you to be able to reverse it completely and learn it by heart and uh, this can work it's kind of unnecessary to be honest since the only time you'll need more than like 10 bullets to kill an enemy you should be dead anyways like it's just like everyone's missing bullets it should not take you more than five to eight bullets to kill an enemy and if it's taking you longer than that your enemy will probably kill you first and there's also a reason like pro players not all of them i guess many do but not all of them know the complete exact spray pattern because it's just not necessary uh, a gunfight usually doesn't take that long. It's only beneficial if you're like running into a group of enemies and you just want to spray them down while they're flash or something. Because if there are three guys in front of you and all firing at you, even if you know the complete spray pattern, you maybe just might be better off trying to get a quick spray across the heads all over the place so that you can just kill them really quickly instead of trying to spray one down, spray the next down, just like transfer your spray over and over again. So yeah, my big tip for you guys, try the expanding crosshair. I think it's the uh, crosshair 5 that you can use uh, through the console commands. Also, there's uh, I will link another video in the description down below where you can actually go to a map. I kind of explained it there and you can modify your crosshair as you want it. But yeah, I felt it's, it's a really good way to actually learn your spray a little bit better to um, just control it. Of course, in the beginning, you will just kind of stare a little bit much at your crosshair and try to always use it. But as you as time progresses and you keep doing and doing it, at one point you won't need it mo anymore and you'll be good to go. Or you can keep it if you want to just have an easier time, I guess. But yeah, I think that's all for now, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And lucky skill faker out.